Good morning, Grand Irish Grizzlies. I'm Hannah Davis. And I'm Lucas Auburn, and welcome to GoTV. Thanks for joining us for Ground News. Welcome back. We hope you're enjoying your first few weeks of 2020. Please stand and join us for the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. And now for the Texas Pledge. Honor the Texas flag. I pledge allegiance to the Texas, one state under God, one and indivisible. Softball tryouts will be January 24th from 3 to 5. If you are interested in trying out, you must have an updated physical with, on file with the athletic trainers. If you have any questions, contact Coach Brimberry through email or stop by room 3117. The barbecue team meeting will be on Wednesday, January 15th at 2.40 in Mrs. Langley's room. See you then. Mu Alpha Theta, the Math Honor Society, will be meeting on Wednesday, January 15th after school in room 2,315. Bring your ideas and any works from the last meeting with you. There will be an informational meeting this Wednesday at 6 p.m. in the LGI for anyone interested in traveling to the British Isles to July 2021. If you cannot attend the meeting, you can stop by room 1113 after Wednesday to pick up handouts. Good luck to the Grand Oaks High School girls and boys swimming and diving team at the 22-5A District Championships this Friday and Saturday. Diving begins at noon on Friday, 10 a.m. and begins 10 a.m. on Saturday. Good luck, Grizzlies. Our GoTV production team has put together a short segment on hall expectations to help us remember what our teachers and administrators expect of us in the hallway. Remember to always be nice and respectful. Hello and welcome to my show. Today we are going, going over all the expectations here at our school. Rule number one. Wait, what in the world? Guys, walk and talk. It's not that hard, walk and talk. We use this rule, walk and talk, to prevent traffic from crowding in the hallways and make it easier for kids to get to their classroom. Rule number two, stay, guys, jeez. Rule number two is stay to the right, follow that rule. Rule number three, watch your profanity. Rule number five, one earbud in. Number six, keep your food in the cafeteria to prevent ants from going into your classroom. Those are the most important rules and expectations for our school. Follow them or I will find you. Thank you, Cindy Will. It helps to know what is expected of us. Levi and Lucas wanted to take a few minutes to review our growl. All right, Grizzlies, today I'm going to teach you what our growl stands for. Follow me. G in our Grizzly growl stands for growth, Grizzlies. Always remember to keep growing. Love challenges. Be intrigued by your mistakes. Always love putting in effort and always keep learning. The R in our Grizzly growl stands for respect. Always remember to respect others and you will earn respect for yourself. O in our Grizzly growl stands for ownership. Take responsibility for your own actions, be accountable for your own results, and take ownership of your own mistakes. WNR Grizzly Growl stands for work ethic. With hard work and a hard work ethic comes success. LNR Grizzly Growl stands for leadership. Leadership is not the ability to give people greatness, but to help them extract the greatness that is already inside of them. Grand Oaks have a pep rally coming up in a few weeks. This is not just a regular pep rally, this is a pep rally is special. The theme for the pep rally is USO GO a military-themed pep rally to honor those men and women who made a huge sacrifice to serve our country to help ensure that you and I are safe each and every day. We're asking that everyone wear a military-themed shirt that day. We will have a group of veterans coming to join us here at the pep rally. Be sure to show them respect and appreciation for what they've done. The clubs and organizations are collecting items to be donated to Camp Hope. Let's hear what some of our team members have to say about Camp Hope and its purpose. Camp Hope is a retreat for military veterans wounded in the War on Terror. William White and his wife, Gallia, created Camp Hope as a tribute to their son, Christopher, who died fighting our, for our country in Iraq. The mission of Camp Hope is to honor the fallen by helping the wounded. They offer all expenses, paid adventures, and camaraderie for the servicemen and women that gave selflessly for our freedoms. 
Since 2007, hundreds of veterans from across the country have experienced the camaraderie from, and benefits from the healing powers of Camp Hope. We are asking all clubs and organizations to bring items to be donated to Camp Hope. Please talk with your sponsors about how you can help. This completes our news for today. Be sure to tune in tomorrow for another Growl News. Thank you for watching GoTV. And remember, it's, it's always, always a great, great day, day to be a Grizzly. Grizzly.